Now, as I ended earlier, indicated earlier, Ubuntu Server uses something called NetPlan to manage its IP addresses. <clears throat> and we're going to find the configurations for that in, let me get to the right screen here, ls forward slash etc forward slash netplan. And here you're going to see a configuration file, 00-installer-config.yaml. Now yours may look differently, right? I've got different Ubuntu systems that have 50-cloud-whatever, but they all end in that yaml. If we cat the file, forward slash etc forward slash netplan, you'll see our forward slash, let me do the right thing, 00-installer-config.yaml. That'll make way more sense. You'll see that this is our network configuration. So we have networks, we've got Ethernet ones, we've got one named ETH0, DHCP4 is true, and it's running version 2. Okay, that's what we're going to work with in order to... Um, in order to change our IP configurations. Now, I actually want to walk through this, but I'm going to start by switching to my administrative user because I'm going to need that. And then I'm also going to change the location. Net plan, not met plan. Uh, so I can work with some of the files here. So here is my file. Now I want to create a backup of this file before I do anything with it. So I'm going to copy 00-installer-config.yaml to 00-installer-config.bak is my backup file. That way, if I screw it up, I can always just reapply that backup file and life will be good. So now let me edit the file and I'm going to change this. This is going to be a server. And so I'm going to statically assign the IP address. So I'm going to do nano 00-installer and I have to do this as a uh, root user. Otherwise I won't have the permissions to edit the file. Probably also work if I spelled the name right. So let's exit. And it's installer, not dot installed. There we go. This looks better. Okay. Now I want to change this to using a static IP address. And the reason I want a static IP address is going to be, is because I'm functioning as a server here. And general rule of thumb, I like to do a, um, I like to all of my servers to be statically assigned. So, I want to add some additional lines here, and I'm actually going to get rid of this DHCP uh, true thing here in a minute. Now, one thing you need to be aware of, YAML configuration files tend to be a little touchy, shall we say? So I want to make sure that I have everything lined up properly so I don't end up with any misconfigurations. So I'm going to set a static IP address that's so going to be addresses, colon, and then I'm going to do this in square brackets. And I'm going to do 10.1.1.10. And I want to do that as a slash 24. Now, notice that we're using this slash notation rather than putting in a subnet mask. So slash 24, if you remember, is basically 255.255.255.0. Now, I'm also spacing over rather than using tab. And that's because I want my spacing to be exactly right. I'm going to set my gateway four, and I want that to be 192. Whoops. Did not have number lock turned on. 10.1.1.1. Then I need to set my name servers. So name servers. And for this one, I'm going to go down to my next line. And I am going to type addresses and then in square brackets, I'm going to put whatever my addresses would be. And I'm going to separate them by commas and close my square brackets. Okay, so that gives me my static configuration. I have my addresses, my gateway, 
my name servers, my subnet mask. I do need to get rid of this DHCP equals true thing. So I'm just going to erase that all the way back across. Okay, at this point, control O to save my configuration, control X to close out. Now that doesn't actually take effect right away. So you do IPA, you'll see we still have our 139 address. So the way we get it to take effect is net plan apply. And you have to do this with root configuration, otherwise it won't work. Now, if there was a problem that should have generated an error message. I'm going to do an IPA just to verify that, hey, what do you know? I am actually on the right IP addresses. Okay, cool. Now, let me show you one thing here that I find really interesting because I've got this thing on a virtual machine. So I'm going to need to flip it back and forth a few times between my static address and my uh, DHCP address to get to the internet for updates and things like that. Now, in a real network, I wouldn't have that issue, right? I just have one address that did give me access to the internet. But here I'm in a little weird situation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some additional configuration files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy or cp my 00-installer-config.yaml to 00-installer-config.static. And then I'm going to take my backup file right here. That was my original. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy that to 0 0 installer dash config dot dhcp let me get my command right so zero dash installer dash config dot dhcp so now the reason I've done this is now all I have to do is take uh, my DHCP or my static, copy them over my YAML, restart my net plan, and I've changed my IP address configuration. Now I'm going to do one more thing just for the fun of it. I'm going to move 00 dash, oh, 00, not 00, dash installer. There we go dash config.bak to 00, zero dash installer dash config.org. That way I remember that as my original file. And that move basically just renames the command. So now I have my current one is the YAML. I've got the DHCP, the original, and the static. And now that I know these work, I can just copy over whichever one that I want to get me back to that configuration. For example, I can copy 00-installer-config.dhcp to 00-installer dash config dot yaml and then net plan apply clear my screen do an ipa and that should show my dhcp address if i want to go back to static it's copy zero zero dash installer dash config dot static to zero zero dash installer dash config there we go dot yaml and then net plan apply clear the screen ipa and we are back to our static address so now just by switching those files over i can very easily go from one configuration to another Okay, so normally you're not going to have to do that if you're working in a virtual machine and you want to be able to isolate your VM occasionally. That's actually a very nice trick, so that's why I wanted to go ahead and show it to you. Okay, also remember everything I've done I've been doing as root because I have to have root permissions in order to work with files in that folder and in order to apply the net plan. So there you go. That gives you a quick overview of configuring IP addresses in Ubuntu server.